good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, Sunday uh, Dharma Talk at uh, Wat Buddha Panya. Uh, so happy to see uh, so many of you today. Uh, it's a great encouragement for me uh, to be here sharing with you. And um, I guess if I stay here like, a little bit longer, probably I would uh, win a Nobel Prize. No, Nobel Prize in giving Dhamma talk. <laughs> but, but only... Only maybe a third prize. <laughs> the first and the second belong to Dr. Chan Yai and Chan <laughs> Yeah. So I, I very appreciate Chan uh, uh, Mahachan Yai, Dr. Uh, training. Uh, give me the opportunity of sharing Dharma and also like uh, training myself in the Dharma and the way to express, uh, explain the Dharma so that can uh, benefit uh, any of you. Uh, so right now I feel very nervous. Yeah. So <laughs> don't have to <laughs> because so because so many because so many audience today. <laughs> uh, and even even today, like a little bit uh, better than uh, last time. Uh, last time two hit the. Uh, Hit uh, over there, hit uh, over here. Oh. <laughs> but today, only over there. <laughs> the here like, disappear already. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, before the Dhamma talk, uh -huh, we, uh, I would like to invite you all to meditate a little bit. Uh, so together with me, like, uh, cool down my uh, uh, nervous. Yeah. <laughs> and also I like, give you a chance to uh, recharge your energy after the whole morning uh, doing this and that contribute to the, the funeral service today uh, and also prepare for the dana today uh -huh, so okay let uh, take some time to uh, rest the mind mm -hmm, and let the body rest as well okay <clears throat> so close your eyes and focus on your breath. And you feel free to change and adjust your breath, <coughs> the way you're breathing in and breathing out. Make sure you feel good, make the whole body feel comfortable. If the long breathing doesn't feel good, you can change to a shorter one. And if the shorter one doesn't feel good, you can make it longer. And then you can spend some time to scan the whole body from the top of your head all the way down to the top of your feet. Relax the whole body, your hand, your shoulders, your back. <clears throat> Make sure the whole body feels relaxed. After the whole body feels good, settle down your mind with the in and out breathing. So here you have free will to breathe the way you like it, to breathe the way that makes the whole body feel comfortable. You can enjoy the whole section of meditation by evaluating your breathing and checking your body to make sure it feels good, feel comfortable the whole time.
if some distractions or temptation outside pull your mind away, as soon as you realize it, you bring your mind back. You drop the distraction, the temptation outside. So this need insight, need wisdom, so that we're able to convince our mind to settle down here. Otherwise, the temptation outside, family, work, friends, society, all kind of affairs in the world, memory in the past, plan in the future, all kind of stuff. We will spin the mind around and around. When the mind running around like that, the mind run out of energy. When the mind run out of energy, the mind feel tired. The body also feel tired. When the mind feel tired, the body feel tired. All kind of bad mood easy to arise. And all these bad moods can destroy, can ruin our peace. Can burn all kind of goodness that we create. We don't want it. We want to keep all of our wealth safe. We want to protect our merit, our boon, our goodness. Just like we protect our eyes, protect our only son, only daughter. So in order to protect our only child, our well, we need to have wisdom. We need to have a good health. So when, when we have power, when we have strength, we can do our job easily. So that's why we meditate on breathing in and breathing out. So when we, when we meditate, we need to keep talking to our breathing. And we keep evaluating how the body reacts to each of the breath. When breathing in, how do we feel? How the body feel? When breathing out, how the body feel? Does it feel good? Does it feel comfortable? So we have to evaluate all the time like that. We have to check all the time like that. So when we meditate, meaning we are communicating with our body and our breathing in and our breathing out. It's not like we let the mind running freely. Wander here, wander there. Got no job to do. When we meditate, we have something very specific to do. When we keep doing one job all the time like this, with no stop, no break, in the end, we got pay. Just like we work the whole week, the whole month, 
a whole year, the company will pay us. Then we live comfortably with our income. But if we work a little bit, then we quick doing something else. And you already know what happened when we don't care about our job like that. We will become homeless. After the mind settled out with the in and out breathing, <coughs> we come to develop the Brahma Vihara. We develop metta, loving kindness. We develop compassion. appreciation, sympathetic joy, and the last one, equanimity. So we make every single thought in our mind full of loving kindness, full of metta, metta for ourselves matter for our family, relatives, our people, our country, people we know well, people we don't know, people treat us well, and even people even harming us. We will spread all matter to all of them, wishing them be well, can find true happiness, free from suffering. Don't let anything block the mind. When the mind full of metal like that, the mind got no ill will, hatred, no anger. So our mind doesn't get burned by the fire of aversion, angry. So we can say that we, we make the mind cool down. We put out the fire of anger by developing metta, loving kindness.
And then we try to develop our compassion. The quality of compassion can be developed by seeing that in the past, we used to encounter all kinds of difficulties and suffering, just as anybody out there in the world that suffer right now. And we wish them overcome the suffering. free from all kinds of troubles. We know that if people suffer, we can get nothing from them. So there is no point to wish them to suffer. But when we saw people suffering, and we see it as a chance to develop our compassion, We can send our thought goodwill, we can come and help if we able to. And that's how we cultivate our compassion, cultivate our mind, make our mind bigger and bigger. Buddha said it's very difficult to meet anybody that never be your mother, your father, your relatives in the past. So when we wander for eon and eon in this samsara, we used to be in the same family, used to be friend, relative. So if we have this kind of thought in our mind, it's very easy for us to develop the quality of compassion when we see other people suffer. If we check on our mind, we see that if we have a sense of envy, jealousy in our mind, we does not feel good at all. So in order to put out this fire, we have to develop appreciation or sympathetic joy. When we see other people success, getting better, we should congratulate them, happy for them, instead of envy them. people in the same family, friends, neighbor, sometimes there are some kind of competition. You want to see other people getting better, successful in this and that and business, life, family, all kind. And a sense of jealousy will rise inside the mind. 
especially somebody that we don't like. When this kind of thought arises inside the mind, it will come back and hurt our mind, destroy the peace of the mind, the integrity of the mind. We don't want it. We want to protect our mind, protect our goodness. So that's why we learn how to develop this quality in this mind. And then the last quality is equanimity. Make the mind neutral. Do everything good or bad. <coughs> Stay neutral. So we don't react. The mind doesn't lean to the left or the right, forward or backward. so that our mind won't get overcome by happiness or sadness. We see everything as a phenomenon arising and passing away. Happy things also arise, remain for a little bit, and then pass away. Same thing with the bad things. And so come to assist, develop a little bit, and then die out. So when we develop these four qualities, Brahma Vihara inside our mind. Step by step, all the way to the point of unlimited. So that's the quality of being born in the Brahma world. We don't have to wait until we die to get there. We can become a real Brahma right here in this life when our mind is full of this quality. We feel happy joyful anywhere we go, anytime, with no restriction at all. So when we meditate like this, we will come to a realization that the peace, the happiness inside our mind depends on our cultivation, how we develop it, how we work on it. Just like the skill of driving a car, how good is your driving skill depends on how often you practice it. And how
how you master your skill. The same thing with the good quality inside of mind. When we're good at it, master skill, then we can use it anytime that we want to. And when somebody needs it, we can share with them. Just like today, a member of our temple passed away. If we have a good quality, good energy inside our mind like this, we can share this energy, share this merit with our member who just passed away. We can dedicate the power of our meditation to her. Just like we have some food in our house, some money in our pocket, and somebody going away, we can share with them, give them some food, give them some money, send them far away to Thailand, to different world, anywhere they go, so they won't be poor. They have some capital in their pocket. When they need it, they can pull out and use it. So before you open your eyes, you can dedicate the merit to your friends, the one who just passed away today, any member of your family, or to any beings, any spirit, any people out there in the world who are suffering and need peace, need support, you can share the merit with them. After that, you can open your eyes. Everybody feel good, huh? How's the meditation? Can you meditate a little bit, or? Mm -hmm. Any, any, anybody meditate at home? You do? Uh, uh -huh. Not every day, sometime. Uh, actually, uh, meditation not just like sitting and close your eyes and budo budo, breathing in, breathing out. Not just that. Meditation, the word bhavana, bhavana means uh, develop. So we develop everything, cooking, talking, socializing. Hey, last time I talked to her, she got mad. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> huh? uh, and then we reflect. Uh, why other person talk and she feel good, she feel happy. Uh, she feel close to that person, but not me. Uh, then we observe, compare, observe, and then we learn. We learn the skill of communication. Eh? Uh, if people give us something bitter, spicy, <laughs> beyond our limit, uh, 
we, we would like speak out the food. Too spicy, cannot eat. Too bitter, cannot swallow down. Right? Uh, the same thing. The same thing with the ear. Uh, because we eat and not only by the mouth. We eat by the ear too. Right? Uh, so the ear also needs some food. Uh, good food, uh, health food, uh, uh, not fast food. Uh. <laughs> uh, so, so that's also one form of meditation. Uh -huh. The first time we probably make a mistake, upset other person, then we learn our mistake, we correct our mistake. So next time we talk like in a different way, uh, right? So that's a, that is the skill of speech. Mm -hmm. And if we observe, if we develop, uh, we can get better and better. Uh, when we open our mouth, everybody feel, feel good, feel at ease, feel happy. Mm -hmm. uh, not everybody is running away. <laughs> right? uh, the same thing with cooking. Uh, if mom uh, made a bad food, bye-bye. Uh, I'm busy, mom. <laughs> Still a lot of work outside. <laughs> eh? uh, but my mom uh, make a favorite food. I'm gonna bring my home, my friend home. Uh, I want to share with my friend, uh, with my uh, co-worker, everybody. I'm so proud of my mom food. Oh. The best in the world. Eh? Uh, and once in a while, mom, are you at home? I want to come visit you. Well, visit you second, visit your food first. <laughs> 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 huh? yeah. uh, so food can bring everybody together, you know. Uh, but with the right intention, that's how the boon comes. Uh, the right intention is uh, we share with our big mind, big heart, uh, generosity, dana. It's not like we're trading. Uh, give out little one piece of um, cake and uh, oh, want to take back one million. <laughs> 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 My son come back eat only no uh, red envelope, <laughs> no hong bao. <laughs> uh, only salabao, no hong bao. Uh, doesn't feel good. Uh, so that's, that's not tambun. That's not dana. Right? Uh, so mom, uh, Cook for son, uh, cook for family, uh, doesn't never looking for hong bao, never look looking for envelope, right? Mm. Ah, it's a free, no condition at all. The love of the parents uh, to the kids, uh, to the children, uh, with no condition. Mm. Even willing to die to sacrifice for them, for their life. Uh, so that's why the Buddha compare. Metta, uh, with the love of the mother for the, her only child. Mm. So we have to protect our metta, just like the mother protect her only child. Uh, because what? If we don't have metta, it will come up. It will come up uh, who suffer. We suffer. <laughs> Doesn't feel good. Eh? Right? Anger arise, uh, hatred it will arise. I'm gonna dis destroy you. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, and that's how people create bad karma. Uh, people born in this world, good and bad, high and low, based on their karma. What they created in the past and also in the present, right? How, how your child can go to UCLA, good college, uh, how your children can make a good salary, not by drinking and gambling, no? Right? Uh, need to work hard, have degree, have skill, uh, respect the job, respect people at their workplace, develop all kinds of skill in order to make a living. Right? Uh, so
we need to learn and develop step by step make the meta bigger and bigger and bigger all the way to the point of unlimited uh, when the phone plane have unlimited can call anytime no worry <laughs> eh? I have got only 100 minutes oh, talk only one second two seconds okay bye bye eh? <laughs> eh? no data uh, no data cannot access internet uh, but if like, unlimited data okay I like, can surf internet anywhere on the street, at the temple, at home. Eh? Uh, when we use it, we don't have to worry because it's unlimited. Uh, but if it's limited, oh, become very stingy now. <laughs> yeah? uh, so with meta, also the same thing. If we develop meta to the point of unlimited, we can have meta for anybody. People friendly to us, not friendly to us, it's okay. We still have meta for you. It doesn't hurt. Uh, it, uh, it's not a problem with if you worth it or not, uh, you deserve it or not, uh, it's your business. You mind your own karma, and me, I mind your, my own karma. Amen. If you're doing good, you get good. Uh, if not, like you're doing good, I get good now. But I get paid, I got salary by my work, by my job. Uh, eh? uh, me, uh, I water here on, in the garden. Uh, there's one tree I water all the time, but uh, no, 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 no flower, no fruit at all. Doesn't grow at all. No. <coughs> Big tree. Uh, Big tree over there, have big tree and water all the time, but no, no flower, no, no leaf at all. Uh, huh? Yeah, the, the tree behind the chair. Yeah. Big chair, big tree. Uh, you know why? It's a dead tree. <laughs> dead tree. Uh, dead tree, that's why I keep watering. Uh, doesn't see any fruit come out at all. Uh, so if our mind, if our wisdom uh, dead, uh, die, uh, there's nothing uh, can bear fruit uh, in our life. Right? Uh, the dead tree uh, look like uh, wis wisdom compared to wisdom. Dead tree like avijja, ignorance. If the mind full of ignorance, uh, doesn't know what is meta, what is ill will, hatred. Uh, you water, good water, doesn't care, bad water, doesn't care at all. Fertilizer, doesn't care, no fertilizer, doesn't care, just remain dead like that. Uh, right? Uh, some people uh, doesn't have good health, not in a good condition. No matter how you teach them, they cannot develop at all. Have or no? Uh, some people got this problem, mental illness. Hmm? Brain damage. Uh, uh, stubborn person. Uh, cannot be instructor, cannot be taught. Um, that's why them, their life remains like that. But people, students, anybody with good mind, good heart, easy to instruct. And that's how they develop their life, make their life better and better, happier and happier. Right? Otherwise, uh, this ignorance, uh, the Buddha compare, is even more scary than the darkness in the world. Now light on, okay, everything good. Huh? Uh, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, at 7.30, no light. Huh? Oh, everybody creaming. <laughs> <laughs> huh? uh, during the daytime, no issue, no problem. Uh, but night time, oh my goodness. Uh, that's the power of darkness. Huh? Uh, the 
darkness doesn't do anything, but everybody's screaming. <laughs> How come? Huh? Uh, fear. Uh, because we don't see, that's why we fear, right? Uh, anything, if we don't see, it becomes scary. Huh? So how, how to kill this fear? How to overcome this <laughs> this scary situation? Puto. Huh? Puto, puto, puto. Puto, 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 and running away at the same time. <laughs> So that's the Buddha said, uh, because we don't see, meaning we don't know, that's why we're scared. That's why the fear overcomes us. Uh, so we need to develop the power of investigation, become a police. Uh, the police investigate every single minor uh, if they want to check on something. Um, try to learn what is the principal cause of this problem. So they have they become very careful in their investigation. So when we meditate, when we come to the teaching of the Buddha, we also need to develop this kind of power. Mm. So we invest investigate why we scare, why the fear overcome us. Uh, we question, eh, hey, only she died. You don't die. Eh? You live forever. Ah. And then we answer, oh, she died. Me also die. <laughs> <laughs> eh? yeah. uh, everybody died. Eh? Uh, but don't, don't come to a funeral and cry. Oh, I feel sorry for her. My friend died. And somebody asks her, you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I die too. <laughs> Remember to cry for me, okay? <laughs> huh? uh, so that's not the real, real, uh, solution. Mm. Okay, if you said a little bit. But after that, come back to investigate. Try to understand this Dharma. Huh? Uh, this is the first noble truth. Eh? Huh? Who, who remember the first noble truth? Huh? One thing? The first noble truth. The first noble truth is yeah. uh, dukkha. dukkha. Uh, what is dukkha? Suffering. Uh, suffering. Uh, uh, separation. Separate from your beloved one, your friend, your relative, your family member. Right? Eh? Uh, when, when, when we have to say goodbye to somebody who love, we love, we care about, we sad, eh? suffer, not happy at all. That's basically like the last moment in life. So, somebody will just see her, see him, and now no more already. Eh? Yeah. And also, the fear is because we don't know where we're going to go. Eh? Uh, here, live in the U.S., everything's so comfortable. <laughs> have family, have money, have house, car, food, everything. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to die tomorrow, man. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Oh, where am I going to go? Ah. Ah, where am I going to go? Uh, because we don't know, that's what we fear, right? Eh? Ah, no need to worry, investigate. Ah, before we come here, where? Where we come from? Huh? Eh? Like that. Ah, born in Thailand, come to the U.S. Eh? Born in Vietnam, come to the U.S. Eh? Eh? Born in China, come to Thailand. Eh? People just go around like that, eh? based on condition. Mm -hmm. The condition for you to come here is because you like the U.S. Mm -hmm. You marry your work or any other condition. And you think this is a good place to live, to make a living, better than the last one? Then we move here. Mm -hmm. So that's the condition for us to be born here, to be here. 
right? Uh, and if we have some skill, some money, some wealth before, then we, when we come here, we can use it, right? Uh, we have money in our bank, right? we can buy the house, buy clothes, food, right? uh, If we are nursing or we, 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 we have some skill we learn in Thailand, we can come here and continue to do it, right? become a builder, a cook, uh, whatever, become a cook or doing a restaurant stuff or all kind of business. Right? Uh, but if we are homeless and no skill, no education, knowing nothing, then we come here, we live just like people on the street. Right? Uh, the same thing we, when we leave this world and come, continue our journey. If in this life, we have done a lot of goodness, eh? tambun, help other people, be kind, be good to other people, do chanting, bhavana, all kind of the kusala dharma. Uh, and then what? This kusala dharma, this good condition, uh, we send you to the better world. Tawatimsa, Tusita, heavenly world. But if in this life we have done, we have created a lot, a lot of problems, you don't have to wait to the last minute. Right now, you ended up being in prison already. Eh? Killing, stealing. Uh, And all kind of bad karma, and then you end up being in prison for sure. Uh, so when we understand this, uh, we don't have to fear, uh, don't have to worry. Uh, let the karma taking care of everything. <laughs> Take break. <laughs> it's Dharma too. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. But nobody feels sad because uh, because uh, we still see each other again. Uh, but who know? <laughs> who know? Uh, because the Buddha said death can come any moment, can happen anytime, anywhere. Young people die, old people die, middle-aged people also die. And there's no guarantee. No, I'm not going to die until I'm 80 years old, no. Uh, so when the breathing in and no breathing out, okay, we bye-bye now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the Buddha said, we need to reflect on that, every in and out breath. Uh, not just a few times a day, not, not just only in the morning and evening. Uh, the monk answer like every morning, every evening, uh, every meal. Every uh, moment. Uh, but the Buddha said that's not that heedful yet. But every in and out breathing. But uh, we, we're not reflecting, we're not meditating, meditating like that uh, and then become depressed. Uh, oh, I'm going to die soon. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> uh, but we use it as a power to encourage, pushing us to cultivate the goodness. If we do something, okay, do it right away. Don't wait. Who knows that's going to come tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to do it next week next month, next year. No? 
you want to do tambun, do to do help this people, that people, meditate, should do it right away when we have a chance. Mm -hmm. Don't delay him. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. The sooner we do, the better. Yeah, so that's one, one form of heedfulness, urgency. Mm -hmm. So last time I'm talking about urgent care. <laughs> mm, urgent care. I want to see my doctor right now. <laughs> I want to see doctor right now. Yo uh, uh, Me too. Yesterday I also. Yesterday I also want to see my doctor right now. The bee, the bee stung me. <laughs> <laughs> one of the lucky ones. Lucky one. Said they come in Anumudana. Did she go to the urgent care? Huh? Did she go to the urgent care? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two doctors come and care for me. So urgent care, urgent care meaning like when we suffer a lot. In a very critical situation, eh? uh, it's urgent care. Because if we don't do it, if we don't handle it, we're gonna die. Yeah, we'll eh? So that's urgent care. Mm -hmm. The Buddha also have his urgent care. Uh, who remember uh, the urgent care? In the, in, in the Buddha life. Uh, what is Mochiho? No, 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 See what? Uh, see old people. Yeah. See what? Sick people. Sick people. Dying. 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 And then the monk. Right? Uh, because uh, he got his barami. Huge barami developed for eon, eon, eon. Uh, when just one single sigh, okay, I wake up already. Knock like alarm ringing, then turn up. Okay, <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> huh? uh, alarm uh, keep ringing, ringing, but still tired. No, lie on bed, sleep a little bit more. Uh, the Buddha see the urgent care, urgent situation. See old people, and then he reflect. What about me? I getting old too. Uh, see. Right. 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 So he shock. <laughs> he shock. What we call it some wega. Uh, when you shock like that, uh, uh, you need to have urgent care. How how to overcome this situation? Uh, eh? Uh, so that's why he left the palace uh, and practiced and then become the Buddha and then passed out the teaching. Uh, but, but if he survives, survive, no more teaching, no more Buddha. Uh, we don't have the Dharma to learn to practice. Uh, eh? uh, the same thing in our life. Uh, we need to have that kind of urgent sense feeling of urgency in our life uh, in order to carry out the practice uh, to push our life a little bit further uh, not just stay the same uh, just like that tree out there water, water, but doesn't see anything eh? uh, so if we turn up our wisdom turn up our discernment panya then our life just remain like that. Uh, no any development at all. Five years, ten years, twenty years uh, remain the same. Mm. So we need 
the power of investigation. We need the power of reflection. What I have done in my life, what can I do to make my life better? We as a Buddhist, a lay person, householder, so how we can practice the Dharma mm -hmm. so that we can get some fruit from our practice. Not just survive, survive, right? Uh, uh, because Dharma, Dharma not, not, not for entertainment. Uh, dharma is for achievement. Before very stingy, and now I come to temple, learn dana, see people offering food, sacrifice this and that, doing this and that. And, oh, other people can do, why not me? I also can do too. Okay, next time we can help our member, help our family, help our temple, help people around us. Right? So that's how we learn from observing. So we come here and then we get some good impact from associating with good people. Mm -hmm. So one of the good quality people the Buddha mentioned, uh, associate with admirable friend, right? Good friend, people of <laughs> integrity, mm, people generous, people have wisdom, mm, people have virtue, good morality. So when we associate with them, uh, slowly, slowly we absorb all those good qualities. Right? And then we are our realization and we're getting better and better. Mm -hmm. Before that, I'm very uncomfortable when I associate with other people. People come to us, talk, not easy at all. Uh, but after learning about Metta, okay, now become very friendly to everybody. Uh, going home, talk with husband, wife, children. Oh, mom, now very sweet. Uh, don't eat a lot of sweet food, mommy. <laughs> Die every day soon. <laughs> uh, Sometimes talk a lot of Metta, and then they said, oh, and falling down from your mouth. <laughs> 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 and then you said, eh, and no issue. <laughs> not be <B>, okay. La. <laughs> as long as not be. <laughs> meta is good. When we have a lot of meta, people come to us easily. Good energy spread out, radiating out. Uh, people can feel that, can feel the calm, the kindness. It's not just come out from the mouth. You need to have something in mind, in the heart, in order to, for it to come out here. Mm. The same thing, the same thing with the face. This face uh, need to look, need to look good. Uh, we need to wash it, put on makeup. Uh, put on makeup. Uh, but 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 not like put makeup blindly. Uh. Uh, if we if, if we put makeup blindly, it doesn't look good at all, right? We need to have mirror in front of us. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> this makeup too strong. Uh, this makeup too light. Uh, right? Uh, we we just need something just good uh, to to look good, right? Uh, the same thing with the mind. The same thing with the mind. The same principle. The same formula. Right? But sometimes we only apply this formula to the face only and not the heart, not the mind yet. Right? That's why a lot of people look good, uh, but their behavior not good at all. <laughs> 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 yeah. only, only look good only. Uh. <laughs> good looking only, uh. <laughs> not for eating. Uh. Uh, so that's the thing uh, in museum. Uh. Uh, the, 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 the stuff in, in the museum... Uh, Window shopping only, <laughs> only for looking, okay, yeah. not for eating. Eh? Ah, but here in a real life, uh, uh, we want some food on the table that we can eat. Uh, not, not, not plastic, okay. 
<cười> apple plastic apple <cười> cao níu plastic cao níu uh, who? Uh, who can eat uh, some people can can make uh, can make uh, what cow cow uh, rice uh. burn it can burn it uh, because plastic fake <cười> Fake, uh. Uh, rice also fake, uh. If we eat, uh, oh my goodness, got cancer, uh. right? Uh, the same thing, uh. the same thing, uh. the same thing. If this, if this mind, uh, if this heart, uh, plastic, uh, people eat, uh, people also get cancer, <laughs> right? Uh, if this mind, if this heart, if this brain, uh, a lot of poison inside and people come and eat, you know, they also get cancer. <laughs> they die. Uh, they die because of our anger, our stinginess. Uh, So we, we need we need to have meta for everybody. Uh, so we don't we don't offer them uh, plastic food. <laughs> huh? uh, right right right. We we don't offer them plastic heart. <laughs> we offer them sweet heart. <laughs> but only one, okay, not two. Uh, if offer them two sweet heart, uh, yeah. Because if we offer them two sweet hearts, uh, they're in trouble. <laughs> offer one, one sweet heart is not. Uh, <laughs> uh, so when, when we learn Dharma, a lot of fun. Right? Uh, Dharma is very flexible. Dharma is everywhere, anytime, anywhere. Uh, anything can become a lesson for us to learn. Uh, that's why Lung Bu Cha, Ajahn Cha, uh, taught us uh, everything is teaching us. Uh, on the path, in the forest, in the city, at home, at temple, at work. Uh, we can sharpen our mind anytime, anywhere. Right? Uh, as long as we have sati, mindfulness. Uh, if we have sati, we have mindfulness. And then we can practice anywhere, anywhere, anytime, right? Uh, Sometimes associate with co-worker, certainly become very angry. <laughs> when angry, oh, my body was so hot. Huh? I turn on the air, air see, let me. <laughs> oh, air see on, eh? body shaking, but why the mind so hot and so burning? Uh, because anger, uh, right? Uh, and then if we have sati, we say, anger for what? Uh, why are you angry? You angry? You suffer, not your co-worker suffer. <laughs> uh, and then we put out our anger. And we use our wisdom to kill our anger. No need to be angry. Uh, people the way they are. People knock your TV and you turn on this channel and that channel. May die. Uh, eh? uh, can we? Can can we? Can we require people to be like this and like that? Okay, no. People behave, people act according to their understanding. Right? Uh, if they have a lot of understanding, they behave in a very nice way. Uh, but lacking of training, lacking of understanding, uh, behave badly. Right? Uh, so that's how we... we, we, we we can overcome anger as workplace right? if we have sati. Right? Uh, don't have to wait until Sunday at the temple, meditate a little bit, budo, budo, <laughs> to keep our anger. Too late. <laughs> huh? Too late, too late. Uh, uh, we, need, we need to be right there. Uh, uh, need, need to use it right there. Uh, Dharma, just like the eyes. Whatever we need it, we can use it. 
It's not like, oh, can I borrow your eyes to see this and that? <laughs> 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 uh, cannot. Uh, so the more we learn, the more we practice, uh, uh, our eyes become sharper. Uh, our heart becomes sharper. Right? Uh, sharper to kill our kilesa. Uh, not sharper to kill other people. Okay? <laughs> uh, uh, kill our kilesa only. Uh, now become sharper and then become very scary in the world. Uh, right? uh, so that, that's the benefit of associate with Dharma, uh, with the Buddha, uh, with the Sangha. Right? Uh, we learn something we, we never heard before. Uh, or we have a chance to develop something that we're still lacking in our mind, in our heart. Eh? Uh, something that can transform our life, make our life become better and better. Eh? Uh, that's why, that's how we don't waste our time. We don't waste this lifetime at all. We live a meaningful life. Uh, when we look back, reflect on our life with proud of it. Uh, but not like looking looking back and reflect on a lot, a lot of regret. I wish eat. I wish eat. No eat, man. No eat. <laughs> no eat. Huh? Uh, when it's gone, it's gone. Uh, cannot come back. Uh? Uh, but with Dharma, uh, we still have a chance to develop. Uh, in the past, cannot do it. But now I can. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. In the past, no metta, but now I can do it easily. Yeah. In the past, no dana, but now, okay, mm-hmm. I can share the meal with you. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, in the past, anybody uh, can upset me, uh, but now I know why I have to get upset because of you. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, we have free will and free choice. Uh, uh, we can control our mood, uh, control our mind, uh, control our behavior. Uh, uh, so that's the power of Banya. Uh, so a lot of power, uh, if we develop, become power, conviction. Guriya, mm. uh, uh, effort, diligence. Sati, mindfulness, uh, samadhi, uh, and then banya, discernment, wisdom. Uh, everybody have, but not become power yet. In order for it to become power, we need to cultivate um, constantly, cultivate, accumulate, uh, do it all the time until it becomes skill become power, become power, meaning we can use it anytime. That's become your power. Just like right now, you can drive your car anytime. In San Francisco, okay, US, okay, Thailand, okay. Eh? Uh, not like, oh, I, drive, I can drive here, but go to San Francisco, I forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, No, okay. <laughs> when we live there, when we live there, the situation will force us, we force us to do it. Uh, because now we got opportunity to live here, we don't have to live there, so we don't try our best. Uh, right? Uh, to get used to it. Uh, to adjust ourselves into the situation to survive. Right? Like when, when we're in Thailand, how can we, we cannot speak English? When we're young, we don't speak English. But because we live in the U.S., we have to pick up the language to communicate with other people, to do our job. So sometimes we have to force ourselves to learn another language, right? To survive. Uh, the same thing with the other skill. Uh, so come back to the power, come back to metta. Oh, I can have metta for my friend, my temple, my family, but not the guy who pee in front of my house. (laughs) 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 Eh? (laughs) Eh? Uh, I saw him. (laughs) I want to sue you. (laughs) (laughs) 
So that's mean. That's mean what? Meta not everywhere, not anytime, anywhere yet. Still limited. Eh? Because under that situation, no more meta already. Meta disappear already. Meta die out already. No more sati. No more meta. Eh? Uh, at that time, only ata. <laughs> uh, ata meaning like ego, self. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me, 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 you, you. Uh, <coughs> so when we develop, develop the four <coughs> quality of Brahma Vihara, uh, step by step, all the way to the point of unlimited, meaning that. There's nothing can limit it at all. Nothing can restrain it at all. Uh, we can use it in any situation, anywhere, anytime. Right? Uh, and the mind, with all of this good quality, uh, of course, uh, uh, we always are happy. Uh, happy here, happy after life. Uh, right? No more fear. Uh, no more worry. Right? Uh, fear and worry because because of what? Because of the way we're talking ourselves our mind. Uh, because we communicate with ourselves inside. Uh, that's how it creates fear. Uh, how? Oh, that. Uh, inside, ghosts are going to come, uh, peta are going to come, uh, snake are going to come, uh, peta hungry ghosts outside. Not coming yet, but peta hungry ghosts inside come first. Uh. Uh, but at that time, if we budo, 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 if we wash our breathing out, breathing in and breathing out, we change the way we think, we change the way we talk in our mind. Instead of creating fear, we create peace. Uh, no more fear, no more fear already. Uh, no more worry already. But only peace and calm. Uh, so come to meditation we also learn how to talk how to communicate with our mind uh, develop develop the good mental uh, mental mental talking uh, mental action uh, we, we, we have three kinds of action bodily action uh, carry this, carry that, doing this, doing that uh, doing with our hand and our feet uh, uh, that's a bodily action, right? We hug this person, we carry the table, carry the chair. Uh, that's bodily action. Verbal action, uh, what we talk. Uh, right? And then mental action, what we think inside. Uh, if we think in a good way, uh, uh, the mind feels good, uh, feel at ease, at calm. But because uh, our mental action, uh, uh, we act like wrongly, that's why a lot of fear, a lot of worrisome come. We don't want it. So we need to change our action, verbal action, mental action, uh, so that can create peace in the mind, in the heart. Uh, so this needs a lot of investigation and development, skill. Uh, it is a skill to develop. Uh, right now, when you meditate, you no fear at all. Because at that time, you talk with your in and out breathing. Uh, you create good feeling, comfortable feeling for the body, for the mind, no fear. Uh, but at the cemetery, uh, in the darkness, and then you talk different way. You talk about beta, you talk about hungry ghosts, uh, you talk about scary story, uh, you try to recollect all kind of horrible movie and horrible scary situation, uh, and then you become scary. A lot of fear inside you, right? Ah, so we need to change, change our sanya, change our memory, change our thinking uh, in order to overcome this fear. Okay? One lady one time come to a temple uh, in the evening, um, right before evening chanting. Uh, usually yom, not come in the evening. Only come in the morning, Dana only. <laughs> no evening. Today come very unusual. Uh, 
then us us to do chanting and then us if we have any uh, any parita uh, to chant to chase away her husband just passed away uh, because uh, now uh, she's so scary when stay home alone <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody, uh, somebody you love and you hug and you sleep together like that, uh, and now just pass away and then you become scary uh, because of avijja, lacking of understanding. Right? Somebody who love you, uh, somebody who care about you, uh, eh? Somebody still alive doesn't harm you. How can he harm you when he dies? Yes. Eh? When you have body, I yell at you every day. <laughs> now you die, I pray you every day. That's <laughs> 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 when, uh, please, uh, don't do this, do that. Uh. What, what <laughs> don't scare me. Uh. Uh, when he alive, uh, did you clean the house? Did you cook? Did you wash? <laughs> Long rewash still here? Uh, yelling all the time. Uh. So we have to, we have to communicate, investigate, uh, and convince ourselves, put out the fear inside our mind, our heart. Eh? Uh, when we investigate like that, uh, uh, wisdom will arise, understanding will arise. When wisdom and understanding arise, we understand the, we understand the phenomena correctly and rightly, and all the fear uh, will disappear, we die out. Uh, eh? Uh, just like we know and we know clearly about the matter already, there's no nothing for us to worry about anymore. Right? Uh, okay. Uh, so hope, hopefully, everybody will kill their fear uh, <laughs> after this talk. Uh, if not, come back to a second talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh.